Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Let me just make that. And um, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is another kind of. I, I was I say unexpected, but yet again, I'm not surprised by said it. But this is a video which I'm going to talk about Sean Maloney. Um, and obviously, he, I think he's coming back. He might be potentially there's links coming back. Him coming back to Celtic as a director of football to obviously help and. Um, and uh, post Coglu, uh, finally got it right. Uh, Maloney is preparing for um, obviously Euro 2020 with Roberto Martinez, but a return to Parkhead potentially awaits him later in the summer. Celtic are partners look for to snatch Sean Maloney from Belgium after a summer's Euros as part of the rebuild, which will be fronted by the, up by the Aussie boss and Poster Coglu. While Poster Coglu remains in Japan, waiting to be given the green light to fly to Glasgow, Record Sport can reveal. The former party striker Maloney has already held initial discussions with, with outgoing chief executive Peter Lowell on a po uh, possible return to the club after he assists, assists Roberto Martinez at this summer's tournament. You know, John Maloney um, also used to play for Celtic. Um, also assistant with Roberto Martinez at, uh, with Belgium. Um, so obviously it could be a sign of good, or it could be a sign of Peter Lowell still, you know, they are, you know, he, he is, he's discussed with Peter Lobel, which you're talking, you might want more of Don Mackay um, in the discussions with him, but hopefully Don, Mac Don Mackay, we can see him more in the discussions with um, Sean Maloney very soon. If this is going to happen, you never know. Uh, maybe a good sign. The 30 year old's close friend Fergal Harkin remains in contention for the position of director of football, but we understand the Irishman is unlikely to land the job. That job, and, and it's Maloney who will be who will play a major role in Celtic's big shake up. Maloney has signed a contract with the Belgian FA until uh, after next year's World Cup in Qatar, but with Martinez now expected to turn to club management in time for next season, the former Scotland international is likely to have no lack of options on the table. Martinez is believed among the front runners to take over at Barcelona and the, the Spaniard would uh, want um, to take uh, Maloney might win to Camp Nou of course as he is assistant there but we never know. But Celtic will hope the emotional pull of our, of our return to Glasgow's East End coupled with the lure of building a, a new culture for the club may convince Maloney to go to go alone, but we'll never know. But this seems maybe another exciting thing happened to Celtic. You know, I mean, I was saying that with Eddie Howe, you know, it never happened. Um, it's it's now a rumor. Um, obviously they've had held talks, but none obviously going so far as he's going to appoint. But potentially, Sean Maloney is going to be the next director of football for Celtic. I'm um, obviously going to help post the Coggle here. Maloney has asked for the time to focus fully on Belgium's bid to call it in Europe this summer and record sport understands Celtic are no in no rush. Why? Why are they not in a rush? To make an appointment seems well they could close on putting Postacoglu in place as Neil and successor. Um summer has barely begun. Um, I'm going to switch more has barely begun for Celtic, but it's been a very frustrating one for Celtic fans, including me and any Celtic fan yourself. It's been very frustrating. The long run pursuit of Eddie Howe ended in failure. Putting the club behind on a crucial summer rebuild as the Champions League qualifiers loom. New boss Ange Postacoglu is set to arrive in the coming days as he awaits permission to fly in from Japan. But for many, he, he's an unknown co um, quantity. Um, there was a rare light supporters thought, uh, though, as the Report Rick Sport exclusively revealed that Sean Maloney is in line for the return to the club as also director of football. Um, the return to Celtic, Sean Maloney will be approached um, to take a role upstairs, but he has been asked about the possibility of a coaching return. Uh, he says, asking about that in February, Maloney replied, it's an impossible question for me to answer. I have, I have to show respect for my, the Federation who have shown massive faith in me. From a, a sporting point of view, I hope Celtic, whatever decision they make, make it quickly because these decisions have to be made. They can definitely fight for the title again next year and the big thing they have to do is get that con connection with the support again because if that's not he not here then it's they're not going to be able to fight against again you know like last season like that season there they're 20 25 points Rangers won it by I mean come on that's ridiculous I, st I stopped watching I mean I stopped watching at the table a couple of months later like you know before the table went um, 
what's his name is not at all. Um, the Belgian coach feels that an in integrated approach is needed with the technical director and manager working in sync. Milani said it's difficult with the Dutch from the outside, but I think with a new chief executive coming in, also Don Mackay already in, and that being brought forward, it feels that they are trying to accelerate the process. I mean, Eddie Howe broke, you know. I mean, yeah, um, they have they have to really, because next season's plan should already be done. The technical director, the coach, these things are linked. The director has to be linked with whoever the head coaches. I think the process has to begin pretty quickly. Since the par since the Parkhead club have thrived and failed in a move for Eddie Howe, with Ange Postecoglou expected to come instead. Um, so yeah, um, it's going to be a very interesting week for Celtic again. Um, of course, obviously, Sean Maloney getting linked with the director of football job for Celtic. Ange Postecoglou coming in the following days from Japan just waiting the green light. We're well in discussion of no, the director of football. Maybe we're getting forward and like, I just got to be in the mail, uh, season ticket rules. Now, we about two season books, me and Miranda's £400. And you're talking, you might not even get into the games next season, you know, you're talking maybe if the coronavirus is low, you're talking again a bit. I mean, this bit of appointment better be good. I mean, some of my Rangers fans, or non-Celtic fans, but can't necessarily laughing at us, because, you know, Celtic fans would do the same. Um, and, and, you know what I mean? But, um, because, you know, we've been embarrassed, um, we've been scunnered uh, by this. Um, that is all I've got to say. I don't, I don't know how to say it anymore. Um, I mean, Ange Postecoglou, a lot of strains on the last video, um, Adam Friday or something, they're speaking highly of them. Um, saying the A League and the J League are much better than the obviously SBFL, not just two teams fighting for the title, which is that that's a good league, very fair. Um, but obviously it maybe you're going to potentially go as saying is like when we were saying when Celtic had Keith Tierney and Van Dyke, we were saying oh they're going to own English football, you know, down there, and they you know fans didn't really believe it down in England, but look at them now, it's all going to wait. We'll have to wait, but Celtic fans are definitely not going to wait time. Ange Postecoglou is going to get off to a good, might, he needs to get off a good start if he wants Celtic fans on his side. That's the only problem he's going to have. A lot more problems to come, but as I for watching, please subscribe, like, share the video out, uh, and I'll see you guys for another video very soon, very shortly. But yeah, that's just a video talking about Sean Maloney potentially coming back to Celtic as director of football. Working beside, obviously, Ange Postecoglou. Till next time, guys. Peace.